The response is due to the need to immediately address the effects caused by ETA after making a tour to the entire coastline recognizing the main affected areas and assess the damage. The government assisted the affected families with basic necessities, markets, and maps. Governor in charge, Alan J. Stephens, says that he immediately starts with a recovery plan. Going to the different site after the hurricane has passed, we have begun to feel the tails and the great gust of wind that have been generated and the impact of many houses, especially those located along the coastal area. It has generated damage to roofs, especially houses in wooden structures, and as a result, we as the Departmental Council of Risk Management and Disasters in conjunction with the Unit of Risk Management at the national level that accompany us in the respective council, we have taken the decision to make the declaration of public calamity. The priority now is to attend to the people and the areas affected and to carry out the cleaning of the roads, the governor said. He also highlighted the contribution of the community that in solidarity contributes to the cleaning of the streets. We are struck by the fact that while we were walking around the circumference, we see the same community with their brooms, with their pickaxe, with their tools, cleaning the respective road. This shows that we are a region where there is a lot of sense of belonging. The people are appropriating the portion of territory and are contributing to the improvement and reaction that is required in this type of situation. Once the action plan of the emergency are established with respective institutions and entities, the administration will proceed to meeting the governing council to declare a manifest emergency and thus generate immediate action for the attention of the community.